according to the Oxford Dictionary, is the exploitation of biological processes, including your body, for industrial and other purposes, especially the genetic manipulation of microorganisms for the production of antibiotics, hormones, etc. The best definition is technology based on biology. And it also can be, it harnesses cellular and biomolecular processes to develop technologies and products that help improve our lives and the health of our planet. But I would tell you that they put the planet first and the lives second. Um, we need to talk about what activates these particles. And as I mentioned, have mentioned a couple times, it's microwaves. So what are some of the dangers of these microwaves? Um, they can affect your behavioral performance. They can cause seizures. You can have gross alterations in your brain function. Um, you can have 30 to 100% increase in blood flow, which isn't necessarily a good thing. And it ca can cause death. And another thing um, is that the the researchers and scientists are looking into fingerprintless bioarchipelago. And basically they're looking at all these things on the left-hand side, the bacteriological viruses, prions, parasites, fungi, carcinogens, toxins, hormone regulators. And they want, are looking at scalable on the right-hand side. So they can be fatal or they can disable. They can be for a short time or they can be a long time. They can be anti-flora, fauna, and functional. Functional means that you are able to get a job done either in your brain or your body. And direct or undetectable binary system. They can be natural or a genomic uh, modification. And they can be hacked. So quickly, we are moving from science fiction to reality. We have DARPA-controlled cyborg insects. We have designer babies to resist HIV implanted into us if we allow them to put the vaccine in us. Inserting human DNA into pr uh, primates, which basically brings us the real planet of the apes. Non-traditional medication and novel vaccine. And what you really need to understand, especially with the is that there was a gene drive that was developed for this. And a, this was, is a mandate by the United Nations to eradicate invasive species. And that includes humans. And that is what is being put in the vaccine. It is a gene drive likely fielded for pestilent species uh, to control them by 2025. But now that the vaccine is being deployed, um, this is called the daisy drive. And you can look, look at that a little bit later. But this, um, when they are talking about the gene edit in the fatty lipid, this is a pesticide. And not only is it a pest, one-time pesticide, but once it gets into your body, your body's going to replicate that pesticide inside your body over and over and over again. So it will, it's continuous. It never, you can't get it out. You cannot detox from it. So what are, this is some interesting then year biological warfare possibilities. Now, this 2020 was the then year. So what is in play right now? We have aflatoxin due to the many floods around the world. And if grain gets wet, it creates something called an aflatoxin, which then turns into a carcinogen, which is cancer. There are airborne varieties of Ebola, Lassa fever, etc. And there's binary agents distributed via imported 
vitamins, clothing, and food. So all of these things have been weaponized. That's why I say do everything, grow your own food. I wouldn't buy any new clothes right now, to be perfectly honest. Mm. Then there's genomically individual or societal targeted pathogens. So these are very, um, like I just discovered that the is very racist. It's very clever. It picks uh, poor people. It picks people of color. Um, it it targets certain people uh, for death um, in this vaccine. And it's a fingerprintless campaign. So when we saw the first Iraqi war and Iraq, they were we did that shock and awe campaign with, you know, all that it looked like a fireworks display. Now they don't want that. They want it so, for plausible deniability. They don't want any fingerprints. They want you to think, I mean, in this document I'm going through right now, they're saying, oh, it's not created in a lab. They don't give any evidence for that, but um, they want a fingerprintless campaign.